today we are going to focus on this topic that is the types of inductor and their applications as we know that for any electrical system we have the three main components first as a resistance inductance and capacitor already we seen about these first two that is resistance as well as capacitor the resistance which is nothing but it is opposition to the flow of current while the capacitance is nothing but it is the charge storage that is a it is a charge storage device now inductors or inductance or inductor it is nothing but the opposition which is provided by the material to the change in current so before going on their applications we are focusing on the types of the inductors sorry the definition of inductors so when the current flowing through an inductor changes the time varying magnetic field induces an electromagnetic force voltage in the conductor describe the faraday's law of induction according to lenz law the induced voltage has a polarity that is the direction which opposes the change in current that created it as a result inductors oppose any changes in the current through them that is in simple language we can say that the inductance is nothing but it is the opposition to the flow of sorry the inductance is nothing but it is the opposition to the change in current that means resistance as we compare to resistance as well as inductance the resistance is the opposition to the flow of current while the inductance it is the opposition to the change in current only that means this part the inductance has a property to, to oppose the change in current through them okay this is possible we can describe this by help of the faraday's law as well as the lenz law now in the detailing now we are focusing on the types of inductor there are a lot of different types of inductor we are going to use in the different factors different sectors so as for the first it's a air core inductor second air core inductor ferrite core inductors iron powder inductors laminated core inductors bobbin based inductor toroidal inductor multi layer ceramic inductors film inductor variable inductors and coupled inductors these are the few types of inductor which are basically used in various applications so as going on one by one so we are going to first focus on the air core inductors so as we know that the inductor it is the opposition to the change in current so as per the construction of the inductor we are classify the types of inductors so there is a classified the inductors so here the first part is nothing but an air core inductors so here the coil is wound on plastic ceramic or other non magnetic material that means this is you can see that the coil if i have the wire if i wound in a simple on this this particular shape or we can we can uh, wound this wire on the plastic any plastic ceramic or any non magnetic material then this type is called as a air core material air core inductor that means according to the shape of the inductor according to this type of induct this type of material they are used for wounding the coil they are classified as a air core inductor so here the main advantage of these inductors are very low core losses and high quality factors that means you can see that the name is given as a air core inductor because here the coil that means this coil you can show in this figure this coil here they are wounding on any plastic ceramic or other non magnetic material that means nothing but simply air core inductor and basically they are used in high frequency applications where low inductance values are required so this is regarding the air core inductors now second part is iron core inductors now in the first part we already seen about the air core that means here we are use the core material as a air but for the second type that is a iron core inductors here we are using the core as a iron core that means iron material now as it i mentioned here here the coil is wound on magnetic material that means in previous sectors it is a plastic materials or any non magnetic material but for for typical this section that is a iron core material inductor so we are wounding the material that is we are wounding the coil on the iron core material that means we can see it in this figure this is the this is the coil we are wounding and this is actually the iron core that means in the iron core we are wounding the different wires so it called as a iron core inductors now these inductors have high power and high inductance value but limited in high frequency capacity Now compared with any other type, these have very limited application. 
And now basically these are used in audio equipment. That means in electronic circuit there are a lot of audio equipments we are using various applications. So for this particular audio equipment we are using the iron core inductors. Now the third one is the ferrite core inductor. Now the ferrite core again here the coil is wound on the ferrite material. You can see on this particular figure the ferrite material is shown in this particular black color. And the black color ferrite core on the black color ferrite core we are wounding the particular this copper coil. That means the ferrite core inductors is nothing but we have this is a ferrite metal, this is called a ferromagnetic material, and on which we are wounding the different coil. As mentioned here, here the coil is wound on ferromagnetic material. That means the ferromagnetic material is a magnetic material on which we are wounding the coil. The ferrite is also referred as a ferromagnetic material. They exhibit the magnetic property. In the previous sections, in the iron core as well as in the air core inductors, they are simply wounding the wires or simply the plastic on any non magnetic material. But for particular this ferrite core inductor, they are wounding the material on the magnetic material that is the ferrite material. So simply called as a ferromagnetic material. In previous two, there is no any magnetic material, but for this particular ferrite core, we are always using the ferromagnetic material which has the different magnetic property. Now again, because of the magnetic properties, these inductors have high power and high inductance. Now, these are used in high frequency applications such as radio. That means, suppose I want to communicate, I want to use these inductors in the different high frequency applications. That means in radio applications, in TV applications, where the frequency range is having a more values. Now next, it's an iron powder indicator, inductors. Now first, the, again the type is depend on this, we are described in the iron powder. That means here specially, we are using the iron powder as the core of the particular inductors. So here again, I mentioned the iron powder cores are produced from the very fine insulated particles of highly pure iron powders. This prepared powder is compressed, compressed under extremely high pressure to produce a solid looking core. That means basically this iron powder core is made up of the different insulated particles of highly pure iron powder. That means as the name mentioned iron powder indicate, iron powder inductors, this core is made up of the iron powder which is prepared by using the compressed, that is the powder is compressed under extremely high pressures to produce a solid looking core. That means you can see this this is solid structure and this is made this is made up of by using the high pressures powder or the high compressed powders now basically these air power powder inductors we are used for the power converter that is a dc to dc converter in different filter applications that means we are using a filter for any different electron applications as well as in the power factor correction inductors that means this iron power inductors we are basically used in the different power conversion applications as well as in the different filter applications. Now, next one is the laminated core index inductor. As the name indicates, laminated core. That means here again we are wounding, we are we are wounding the wire in the laminated core. We can see this is a actually the figure of transformer core. Now we can't find out the lamination. This is lamination is provided for the reducing the EV current losses for particular for the transformer. Now here the low frequency inductors are often made with the laminated core to prevent EV current. As I mentioned earlier, using construction similar to transformer. Here the core is made up of stacks of thin steel sheets or laminations. Basically, it is used in transformer. That means you can see this particular structure. This all parts which is having a laminated structure. That means the different sheets are there, the different laminations are there, the different thin sheets are there on which we are bonding, we are coming together everything and we are bonding the wire on the laminated core structures. And basically this type of application, this type of structure we are used in the different power transformer as well as the distribution transformer. These two figures are related with the transformers. Now next part is having a toradyl inductor. Now again toradyl that means the structure is nothing but a toradyl structure or toradyl shape. Now we can see that this is a yellow color has a different copper wires and the actually in the black color it is called as a magnet or simply called as a 
and different magnetic materials. Now this particular name is called the toroidal inductor because this having the shape of toroidal or we call having the toroidal shape. Now due, due to particular shape, the advantage of particular shape is having it has a very low leakage fluxes. That means because of these particular shapes, the leakage fluxes are very low. And basically these type of inductors we are using different medical devices, telecommunications, medical instruments or simply called musical instruments, industrial controls, refrigeration equipments, ballast, electronic clutches, electronic brakes in the aerospace and nuclear field in air conditioner equipment and amplifiers etc. Now the next one is last one variable inductor. As the name indicates variable inductor it is similar to that of variable resistance variable capacitance as well as variable inductance. Now as we seen in the variable resistance part is a variable resistance that means we can change the value of resistance by using a different methodology. Similarly for this structure variable inductors we can change the value of inductance by due to any means that means the name is called as a variable because in this particular in the in this particular type we can change the value of inductance. Now we can see the different figure of the particular variable inductor then we can see the screw shape here this particular screws are here by moving the screw you can change the value of inductor now i have mentioned here the inductance can be moved by varying the screw the screw is attached to ferrite magnetic core that means this screw it is attached to the particular ferrite magnetic core and by using all this methodology we can change the value of inductance now this type of Inductors are basically used in radio and high frequency applications where the tuning is required. That means as we seen in the different radio applications or TV applications, television applications where the frequency matching is possible by using the different tuning system. Now for this tuning, we are for the uh, different tuning applications or uh, have high frequency application where tuning is required, we can change the inductance value by using this particular type. We call it as a variable inductance. So fine. These are the different types of inductors and the application. Now, the classification of inductors, as I said earlier, the inductors are classified according to which type of core they are used. If they have used the air core, then the type is called as the air core inductors. If they use the iron core, then called as the iron core inductors. If they have ferrite core, we can call it as a ferrite conductors and likewise. That means the classifier, the inductance are classified according to the core material which are they have used. Thank you.